What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. I believe this video is coming out on Wednesday. I could be wrong, though. But in today's video, did Panini just put the wrong cut autograph in the wrong card? And if so, oops. Yeah, I guess that's probably the biggest thing you could really say is oops onto it. So this here is coming off of Instagram. Bob's Sports Cards. It says, hit of the day. Does anybody see it? So as you guys can see, it's a Babe Ruth booklet with a uh, triple relic auto. Only problem is, that's not Babe Ruth's auto. So some of the autograph smart people came out, that's George Brett. George Brett. So I know there's been a little bit of talk about this. I've been tagged and sent a bunch of this stuff onto it over the past, probably, oh, I don't know, about, I think it was late last night, earliest morning, somewhere like that my time when I was in bed. But I do appreciate you guys getting stuff out like this to me to talk about. Panini America. This is true. Shame. And one of my first questions is, if uh, is there a George Brett out there that has the Babe Ruth cut auto in it? Because, woo, I can just see that one coming down now. In a time and day where quality control matters the most. In one of the most sought after cards of the product. Is it screwed up? Come on. I, I sat there and looked at this. I was like, man, is this some kind of Photoshop or something like that? And where I'm gathering, it's not. And like I said, a bunch of people have posted about this. We're pulling this off of Instagram, Bob Sports Cards. So crazy, crazy. Everybody's looking at it. You know, a lot of people said, dude, I'd be livid. Supposed to be a Ruth auto. He put a George Brad auto. What's going on? I'm confused. They, that's got no idea. I mean, I sat there and looked at it. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not a Babe Ruth auto, unless I'm really messed up onto it. But, you know, you just start looking at it. It's like, holy crap, at Panini, Panini America, fix it, blah, 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 more and more. With the process of them fixing redemptions, do you think that they would make this into a priority? You know, if I was me, I'd be out of Panini America saying, hey, you, you're flying out picking this card up. Here's a new one for him. Take it out there, one-on-one -on -one switch. We're not doing this mailing stuff, nothing like that. Because more than likely they got something there. Maybe they cut the wrong autograph. Maybe George Brett has a Babe Ruth auto. Can you just imagine that? You pulling the George Brett cut auto and it's Babe Ruth. Oh, I'm not giving that back, Panini. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That'd be a one-on-one -on -one error card. Think about it, because back in the day, like in the 90s and maybe early 2000s, that'd be called a rare error card, you know? Nowadays. We just go right after the manufacturers. What is going on? I mean, first, the top thing where everybody's saying the Babe Ruth auto was signed by a secretary because of quotation marks and all this stuff. But I really think if you look at the document it was cut from, you get the date onto it, and that would just, you know, be all end all type deal. But this here, man, you know, manufacturers, you're supposed to have quality control. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know, the only thing I could picture right now is Game of Thrones and I'm going down the street. Shame. 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 All right, guys, that's it. Just thought I'd bring it up in case you guys haven't seen this yet. Other than that, I'm out. Catch you next one.